What up, YouTube? I just kind of want to talk about this whole thing with Cotto Canelo um, with the money situation. Um, you know, it, it's known that Canelo is only getting a quarter of the uh, of the purse. Um, and I've I've heard people say, you know, that it's messed up, and I, I agree, it is messed up. But here's something that, you know, you have to realize. This, this is something with the business aspect. Um, there's nothing wrong with talking about the business aspect of boxing. Um, I just think that some people tend to take the business aspect and let it overflow into who can fight the champion, which I don't agree with. If you're the number one contender... If you've proven yourself, you've you were able to get yourself into that number one contender spot. I don't think how much money you bring should uh, play a part in whether or not you get a title shot. You put in the work. I think you should be able to get the title shot. But when it comes to negotiating a fight, then that's different. Um, and in this whole thing with Cotto and Canelo... Um, I do think it's a little bit messed up. I think he should get a little bit more than a quarter. I mean, maybe 30, 35% to me would be a little bit more reasonable. Um, as far as Canelo accepting it, um, I'll be honest, if I was in his shoes, I would have accepted it too. Cause that's the, there, there's something called the cost of doing business. All right. Um, I mean, if he doesn't fight, if he didn't accept it and Cotto wouldn't, wasn't going to budge on the percentage that, you know, he was going to get, then that means he's not going to get the fight. And you have to think, you know, this is, this is the first step in, in getting to that status. It's kind of like, you know, these jobs that, you know, a lot of people, um, try to get a government job because government jobs uh, have good benefits and the right job will get you good pay. Um, and, you know, some people might have a better job, uh, you know, with better pay or not a better job. Let me rephrase that. They might have a job that pays them better than the government's going to pay them if they were to take a job in you know, a lower level, like let's say maybe parks and recreation. You know, if you're a park ranger, they don't actually make a whole lot of money, but they get good benefits. And once you have that government job, um, you're, you're, uh, it makes it a lot easier for you to move within other government, um, other government positions. It's kind of the same principle. It's not exactly the same, um, you know, but it, it's it's very similar principles. You know, Canelo took this fight making way less than what Cotto was going to make on the fight. But let's say he beats Cotto. That's going to put him in a position where pe more people are going to want to fight him. Um, the bigger names are going to want to fight him. He's going to be able to, uh, you know, have that leverage. And, of course, the first title defense, if he were to beat Cotto, his first title defense is not going to be, you know, he's not going to make $30 million the first title defense. You know, he's going to have to defend it a couple times. He's going to have to build his name a little bit more. His name is already built somewhat, but he needs a little bit more name recognition before he can make that, you know, 20 30 million dollar paydays but if he beats canelo and then he's successful at um you know retaining the title and defending the title then he could potentially make that money you know so i have to say if i was in canelo's shoes i would have did the same exact thing especially if i felt like i could beat the champ you know feeling like you could beat the champ you you're gonna you're going to, you know, 
if if you do beat them, you're gonna end up making more money in the end. You, you know, it's it. You got to look at it long term. You know, not short term. Because the fact of the matter is, he beats Cotto. It's not like his career ends at that point. He's still young. He beats Cotto. He'll be, um, you know, WBC middleweight champ. And um, at that point, he'll have to try to. You know, I'm hearing they're gonna make the winner fight Triple G or the winner of Triple G Lemieux. I shouldn't just say Triple G. I mean, I'm I'm pretty confident Triple G is gonna beat Lemieux, but um, you know, whoever wins that fight. So, uh, but I mean, tell me your thoughts. Do you think it's really fucked up that Cotto took you know such a big piece of the pie, um, or do you think it was fair? Or do you see it from my point of view? Yeah, it is fucked up. But at the same time, you do what you got to do because in the end, it's going to be better for your own business. So um, let me know what y'all think. Y'all have a good day.